Hey guys, this is a makeup and hair tutorial on how to do makeup like this and how to put in extensions. I do not have my extensions in at the moment, but by the end of the video I will. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I have this eye done. Um, <clears throat> with your face you're going to want to take makeup over pads and you're going to want to take off all your makeup and then if you have like really bad breakouts like I do as you can tell um after you take off all your makeup put like some acne medicine on because it actually reduces um getting acne by a lot um when you wear makeup so I suggest doing that um and so <coughs> yeah okay so where's my primer <laughs> okay so the type of um eyeshadow primer that I use is MAC Soft Ochre um I find it works pretty well I mean it's not the best eyeshadow primer that I've had but I mean it works pretty well my eyeshadow stays on for a while and I mean this isn't that expensive actually and it's lasting me a while but I'm more into like the gel type of um, clear gel type of uh, eyeshadow palette. Alright, so after that's done, you are going to want to. It goes yellow, orange, then pink. You're going to want to take your yellow and just put it in the corner of your eyelid until about. So after your yellow is done, you're going to want to take your pink, I don't have a lot of pink left, but um, you want to take your pink and just put it in the outer side corner, but make sure that there's a little gap in between the yellow and the pink because that's where the orange is going to go. So for the middle, you're going to take your orange. I don't have a very good orange, I just have my MAC orange. It's called Rool. Um, I found that this eyeshadow goes on better in dark once you use a Q-tip. And I mean, you can wet it with your mouth if you want, but I didn't really do that. I'm just... So now you're going to want to take a Q-tip <coughs> and put some eyeshadow primer on it and put it on right below your tear line because that's where we're putting the eyeshadow right there. So after that's done, you take your other Q-tip and you dip it in your yellow um, eyeshadow, and you put it on the inner corner, well, then, yeah, in the inner corner on the bottom, and you go about halfway. You want to take your pink with a, um, Q-tip, dip it in the eyeshadow, and do the same thing that we did with the yellow except sort of drag the pink on top of the yellow and for eyeliner um, I use Maybelline's eye studio it's like gel liner or cream eyeliner I don't know what you call this 
um, and I use an angled um, eyeliner brush that I got from Sephora. It comes with a brush, but I don't like the lines that it makes with the brush. So then just make a line like you did on the top. With this gel liner, I, I tend to think, uh, like, I notice that if you blink a lot, once, like, right after you did it, then it'll go in your eyeshadow. So, in the meantime, it's, like, drying, I apply my mascara. I use Maybelline's Colosso and Maybelline's Great Lash. So now you're going to want to put um, eyeliner on your tear line and that takes like two seconds. And I also put um, eyeliner on my top tear line as well. So now that all of your eyeshadow and stuff is done, I'm going to want to put a brow highlighter, which is just, I use it from a smoky powder, smoky eyelid powder, which is like a silvery white. And this is from like Price Shopper, so you don't really need fancy stuff. Okay, and for foundation, I use two liquids. I use the... Max Studio Fix Plus and Makeup Forever. Both very expensive and both cover basically the same as any CVS brand. So, I mean, yeah, it's your choice if you want to spend all all the This is about eighty, no, yeah, eighty or ninety bucks for these two. I get one for twenty bucks. I used to because really bad acne.
So also, on top of this foundation, I use... Oh, that is so nifty. I have had this powder for a couple months. And I just realized that this flips up and you have a little makeup pad. Huh. That's, that's pretty nifty. Hmm. Well, I've obviously never used that. Um, I use an angled blush brush for all my powder. I use it for my blush and my powder just because I don't know why I just do. Um, and you're going to look really cakey at first if you use as much foundation as I am. But... Um, after you do all your makeup, you put on this MAC Mineralizing Charged Water, and it makes your skin look, like, flawless. It's amazing. Um, and even if you don't have that, if you just let this, um, powder just, like, set your liquid, then it won't look as cakey anymore. So after you have your powder, you can put on your blush. Um, I do not look good with a dark blush, so I use um, Maybelline Mineral Pal Powder. Yeah, no, Mineral Powder Illuminator, and it's pink. So and it's sparkly and it looks nice. to like contouring with blush and I just don't take that time so I just put you know a quick blush on and that's it for me because that's all I really need I don't need to contour or that's just too much time in the morning because this is just my quick everyday routine um no if it was like if I was going out somewhere then yeah I would do some contouring like along my cheeks my nose just because I have a really big nose so if you have a big nose like a big nose as you can just set, see um you take like dark, not dark, but like sort of like a bronzer, but not so dark that you can see the lines. It's like it's like an illusion. It's cool. Um, and so now you have all of your makeup done, and you can choose to do your eyebrows or your lip or something. I'm probably just gonna do a really crazy lip and do the red. Um, I usually when I do a lip, I only do lip gloss. And I have a limp plumper, and I actually got this from Charlotte Ooze, and it's really cool because it has a mirror on it, and it also has LED lights on it. So I don't know. I think it's really cool. Um, and it's less than like Mac stuff, and it works just as well. So I am going to do my eyebrows and my lips, and yeah. This is my eyebrows done, and so I have. I do not wear lipstick. 
like at all because I have really tiny lips I don't have like lipstick lips so I've only worn lipstick like once in my life so we'll see how this goes Alright, so at this point, um, all of my makeup is done, and my really weird lips that I, because I don't wear lipstick, but this is the makeup look. So, yeah, um, now putting in extensions and styling hair, um, I have my little zebra flat iron, and my bangs are growing out because I'm trying to get, like, side sweep bangs. So they've been up like a lot. Um, I have two different sets of extensions. I have my 18 inch, which are right here that I'm gonna be wearing today. A bit tangly at the moment. Um, and they're a bit crazy. Um, These are my 18 inch extensions. They are brown, red, pink, yellow, and blue and green. Um, they go down to about, um, yeah, about to here. They aren't that long. Um, and I also have my 22 inch, which I'm not going to be wearing today because I'm not really going to be wearing these until prom, which is two weeks away. Um, if I can get these untangled. Do -do 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 -do. They're all like stuck in each other's clips and such. Um, I actually really love my 22 inches because they are double wefted, which if you don't know what that means, um, that just means that there's more hair, so it makes it look fuller and more natural. Um, and so it's basically more hair. And these I think are, um, my 18 inch are 30 grams, and these I think are 90 or 100 grams. Um, so yeah, these are my 18 inch, double lefted, as you can see, double left. Um, and in my 18 inch, only one left. And so these go really far, they go down to like, my, oh, yeah, about down to my belly button. So, yeah. Um, actually, should I wear these? I guess I'll just wear these today. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to wear these today. I am going to wear my 18 inch today. Um, so, you're going to want to straighten your hair. Um, cause my, my hair's naturally straight and I've like let it dry, um, from my shower, but I still want to straighten it to give it that like really crisp look. And if you're like me, I have a cat, calic in the back, um, and I've tried to, to part my hair today so that it's not there. Hopefully it works for the entire day, but it usually doesn't. So I am going to straighten my hair, and then after you straighten your hair, I use 450 degrees on my natural hair, because my natural hair is actually very dull, durable and doesn't have any split ends from this. Um, but for extensions, you don't want to use anything higher than about 325, because you will ruin your extensions. Um, 
like the reason why I got my 22 inch were because I ruined these extensions um, accidentally because I kept forgetting to tone down the heat when I would straighten them. Um, so my ends are fried and I still wear them because I don't really care because you know natural hair is fried anyway so it's like whatever. Um, I'm gonna actually like curl these today which is gonna be on 400 but since it's not in for so long it doesn't really damage them. So yeah, so you want to straighten your hair and then straighten your extensions and put them in.
Okay, so that was my dope of a sister, and there. this is my extensions and my makeup. So yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>